Welcome back to part 6 of our ongoing series, where we delve into the intriguing complexities and gaps that scientists have identified in the Big Bang Theory. This prevailing scientific explanation for the inception of our universe has its fair share of unresolved puzzles. Today, we're turning our attention to one of the most profound and contentious of these gaps, the question of Earth's and humanity's uniqueness in the universe. For centuries, we were enveloped in the belief that Earth was the celestial epicenter, the fulcrum of the cosmos, a notion born in the minds of the ancient Greeks and perpetuated for millennia. This geocentric view envisaged a universe with the moon, the planets and the sun all pirouetting around our terrestrial home. It elevated Earth to the status of utmost importance, casting it as the universe's unrivaled gem. Yet advancement has a penchant for turning conventional wisdom on its head. In the 16th century, Copernicus ventured a daring proposition. He challenged the notion that Earth was the nucleus of the universe and instead posed that it was merely an orbiting member of an astronomical ensemble, circling a star, in a galaxy, amongst a multitude of others. Suddenly, we were not the centerpiece, but just inhabitants of a celestial orb spinning in the cosmic wilderness. This humbling perspective, eloquently named The Principle of Mediocrity by Max Tegmark, an esteemed professor at MIT, reminds us that we might not be as special as we once thought. Fast forward to the 1970s, when the astronomer Carl Sagan instructed a spacecraft to snap a photo of Earth from the edge of the solar system. The resulting image, showing Earth as a tiny, insignificant speck of dust in a vast cosmos, further underscored our seeming mediocrity. We and our home planet were just lucky statistical flukes, lottery winners in the cosmic game of chance. However, recent scientific discoveries have begun to challenge this notion. As we've begun to unravel the precise values of the laws of nature, we've found that they must be fine-tuned to an exceedingly precise level for the universe and human life to exist. Some values are so specific that the odds of them occurring by chance are trillions and trillions to one. This revelation has sent shivers down the spines of scientists, suggesting that the universe may indeed have a structure, a design, a balletic harmony that couldn't possibly be the result of mere chance. So, what does this mean for the Big Bang Theory and for our understanding of our place in the universe? We'll explore this fascinating conundrum further in our next video. In the meantime, if you're keen to delve deeper into our cosmic origins, consider checking out the book A Chorus of Big Bangs on Amazon. Until next time, remember, the universe is full of mysteries waiting for us to unravel them.